Hi guys, how's it going? So today we're talking about how you potentially could use any of your Oculus Quest devices without having to log in into a Facebook account. Let's go. By the way, a big thank you to all those who went to our merch store during the Christmas holidays. Do remember to send us the picture when you receive the item so we can give you a shout out on the channel. A big welcome to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and VR educational entertainment. If it's your first time here to the platform, very nice to meet you and a huge welcome back of course to all our regular subscribers. So today's topic is all about how you potentially could use all your Facebook Oculus devices without actually needing a Facebook account. Now having the ability to use your Oculus device without a Facebook account is not news. It's something that was reported, in fact, back in October. The XR Safety Initiative, which is basically an organization, which is a non-profit that promotes safety and security and all these kind of things inside of virtual reality, had actually claimed back then that they had some developers who were able to jailbreak the device. Even though apparently there were other people in the community who had confirmed this, there was actually an article following that by Upload VR who had actually claimed that apparently the alleged jailbreaking was actually false. When you do a search on the internet for how to jailbreak your Oculus device, at the moment, there isn't actually an official way to do this. Even though an official way to jailbreak the Oculus safely without having to use a Facebook account hasn't actually been released, there is another fellow called Yankon Rod who back apparently in November 2020 had released a way to be able to use it without having to use a Facebook account. Now he claims that he met someone else, a Reddit user under the name of Teg Hobbs, who had actually disclosed information as how to jailbreak or use the Oculus device without the Facebook account. His YouTube channel seems to be at a starting ground at the moment. There aren't many videos there. So I do need to stress that even though in the comments, it seems that many people were actually able to follow the various steps and make it work. I personally cannot guarantee that it won't affect your device. So this will be totally up to you whether you want to follow his instructions. Now, apparently he had met this Tiger Hobbs person through the VR Liberation Fund which apparently is inactive. If you go to the website, there's nothing really happening there, but it's supposed to have been similarly to the other organization, something where basically people can, you know, protect data and also openly have VR be accessible to everyone and not have it controlled by one specific entity. Now in his video, he actually says that he uses an Android phone and Android tablet and that he's tested it on those kind of devices. However, there is also a comment inside of the video whereas some other people have tried it with an iPhone and it has also worked. In the video, he explains that you're actually going to need an Oculus account and not a Facebook account. In fact, you're going to have to delete the actual Oculus app that you currently have installed and you'll then have to go online to search for another version of the Oculus app using an older APK. He also explains how you then set up the entire device so it pairs with the new Oculus app. For example, creating a new login, all these kind of things. Also, how you have to force factory reset the device, going through all the motions again, and all these various different things. He also shows us that he's able to access all the various different apps inside of the library, whilst he's not actually inside of any Facebook accounts whatsoever. He also explains that once you're able to basically use your Oculus device without the Facebook account, that first of all, you won't be able to cast anything to the phone. You're gonna have to cast it via your PC and then cast your PC, for example, to a TV if you wanted to do any casting of any kind. He also explains that the Oculus device will disappear from the list of paired devices inside of the Oculus app and also inside of the Oculus device itself, the clock will not be synced to the Oculus app either. And of course, because you're not gonna be logged into the Facebook account and everything is linked back to Facebook now, you won't have any social ways to connect with anybody. You won't know if your friends are online and you know you won't be able to do parties and connect with people in various different apps that use an Oculus account either. And guys, don't miss another video. Join the notification squad by enabling your notification bell after you subscribe because I do upload a lot of content quite frequently to the channel.